Hey, this is Lewis from Breakdance. At Breakdance, we believe it should be very easy to do common things with your website elements, with your website design. There are many things that you see on a lot of different websites that are very common effects, and we think those should be easy to achieve in Breakdance. Uh, so let's take a look at one that really illustrates this point, and there are hundreds of things like this in Breakdance that we paid attention to. But let's talk about a simple one, and that is scaling up a button on Hover. It's a very common effect. You mouse over the button, and it gets bigger. Let's see the difference between doing that in Breakdance versus doing that in Elementor. So at Breakdance, you just go to the design options for your button. Let's make it a custom button, and let's go to effects. And here we have our scale on Hover and our transition duration. So we can make it you know, much bigger on Hover like that, 1.4. We can make that a slower transition if we wanted. We can make that a faster transition if we wanted. We can change how much it scales. Very easy, just by dragging the slider. It's all right there for you. Okay, let's say we want to do the same thing in Elementor. Well, in Elementor, there is a way to make the button get bigger on Hover. You just go to the Button Style tab and uh, go to Hover, and then under Hover Animation, you choose Grow. They know it's common, so it's the top choice, but there are no customization options here. You can't customize the transition duration for this button. You can't customize how much it grows. It's simply not an option. So what can you do if you want to do this? Because Elementor does support CSS Transform, so you should be able to create any transform you want, right? Okay, let's do that. Let's go to the Advanced tab, and let's go to um, Transform. And here we can set a uh, scale transform on hover. So let's say by default on, on not hover, it's just going to be 1.1.0. And let's go to hover and let's scale it up. Um, we can do 1.2 there, mouse over. But look at that. Now the button goes flying off, off to the side because the button's container is very wide. Um, and there's a way to fix that. We would do, we would go to layout and then depending whether you've enabled their Flexbox experiment or not, you change the align self property because their default makes the container of the button wide, which is weird. So you got to click this one more thing. Um, okay, sorry. No, you want align self start. And there we go. Now we got it going. It's, it's possible in Elementor. It's just an extra step, an extra step or two. It's hidden away in the advanced panel um, where it really should be under the hover effects for the button. It's just not customizable. There are a lot of things about buttons and many other elements in Breakdance where we made the common things customizable easily without having to know any secret trick about the way you use flex alignment to stop the button from scaling in a, a strange manner. We just made it work out of the box.